Hello, Intertubers! It's more corny jokes again. Apparently, you like it when I tell other people's jokes, so why the fuck not, right? Actually, we're gonna do some shout outs too. Oh boy, I know you guys live for that shit. Let's jump right into it. Stevie Roeder wrote to me on one of the YouTube things. He says, Hey, Granny, I love your videos. Please turn these into a bi weekly series. Well, here it is just two weeks later, and here's your joke, Stevie. That cloudy guy writes, the poor Italian chef's wife. She's still not over it. We can only do so much. <clears throat> I love it. Cold Drake Queen actually had a cooking series suggestion. She says, how about a late as fuck segment for all of our bedtime snack needs? Now that's a really good idea. I'll put that on the list. And you guys are so tolerant, really. Ben Gnome said, you could read a manual and I'd still watch it and like it. Oh, I love you so much. Jay Howard says, what do you call a cow with three legs? Lean beef. <laughs> That's a good one. And the Lippman family says, we love you, Granny. That was awesome. I will watch you tell jokes anytime. Next up are a couple of guys who probably should straighten this out somewhere other than right here. Derek Schlumbrecht says, what do you call a herd of cows masturbating? Beef stroganoff. Okay. And then El Burris says, Granny, what do you call a pasture full of bulls pleasuring themselves? Beef stroganoff. So is it the bulls or is it the cows? You guys will have to explain that to your children. And then Ginji paid me the ultimate compliment. Granny is turning into a dad. Oh yeah. Fuck yeah. Wacko Warner actually asked a very good question. Hey Granny, it's been a while since I've seen your videos. How's the Patreon thing going? Well, funny you should ask. There's a link to my Patreon in the description. And if you're looking at this on a mobile device or a tablet, there's a card that you can click right above my head right about now. In memory of Leo writes, what's green and sings and lives in the refrigerator? Elvis Parsley. <laughs> That's a good one. If you're old as I am, you understand Elvis. And man, could that boy sing. Oh, flutter, flutter, flutter. Phil M weighed in and he said, OMG, those jokes are lame AF. And guess what? I know what those alphabet means. Bruce Gilbert shared one. What do you call a bird flying through a screen? Shredded tweet. Oh, and I hope you guys are following me on the Twitter. Granny Potty Mouth with an F at the end, because when I signed up for my account, there was a character limit and I had to make a decision, a command decision, F or TH, and I went with the F. I really like this one. Keck Negan Kai says, I love you so much for these puns and I will need to tell them to my friends and annoy the shit out of them. And then I remember, Granny loves me. Oh yes, I do. Silver1858 says, great jokes and I can tell my nine-year-old. Well, you'll have to give him a Facts of Life lecture as well. Brandon Plantier obviously has a little bit of a reading comprehension problem. He said he thought the thumbnail said horny jokes. No, Brandon, I don't go there. April Shepard shared this with her friend Sylvia. Don't ask why. I was just laughing my motherfucking ass off. Well, it was all initials, but I know how to read them. Like real FR FR. For real, for real. I think it's just because I love her. Oh. You guys, you just touched me. Adam K sent three, but I'm only gonna read one. How can you tell who the blind guy is at a nudist beach? It's not hard. <laughs> Susan Erskine had such a sweet comment. She said, thank you for the giggles, you're the tits. In the other video, I had said something like, well, we all take our fun wherever we can find it, right? Big Man 700 said, damn straight. We'll take our funnies wherever we can find them. Thank you, Granny. David Del Grande had a really funny one. Why was six afraid of seven? Because seven, eight, nine. Cannibals. Oh, fuck. Leaf, with a name I can't pronounce, said, as bad as corny jokes are, they always seem to make us laugh. And you know what, guys? There are Amazon links to a whole bunch of funny joke books right there in the description. If you buy from an Amazon link that I give you, it helps fund more videos. 
You all want that, right? Sean Christopher had a real cute one. What is a chef's favorite thing to do? Cut the cheese. Cause who doesn't love a fart joke? And then non-binary gingerbread person said, I'm close to 60 and I never grow tired of fart jokes. Then Sean answered back, they make me giggle like an eight year old. Just a couple more and I hope you're having as much fun as I'm having. Jacob Dixon, why didn't the teepee cross the road? He didn't want to get stuck in the crack. How do you make a hanky dance? You put a little boogie in it. Julie LeMaster says, my favorite kind of jokes. Thank you so much. And Brittany Nicole Rupert with the love. She says, these are fucking hilarious, Granny. We love you. And you know what, guys? I love you too. <coughs> Granny loves you. You know it. You know it. You know it. Always, I love you. Stay tuned. Follow. Share. Tag. Do whatever the shit it is you do. And get my shit to the whole world because everybody needs to laugh. There's too much crap going on right now and we could all use a laugh. <sniffs> Granny loves you. That was a bonus kiss.